Hi, I'm Max of the Constru team, and today I'm going to show you how to use Constru for Dynamo. After installing Constru for Dynamo from the package manager, you will find Constru for Dynamo in the menu bar. It's called Constru Dynamo. If you unfold it, you will see a category Constru nodes, with nodes in there for attributes, elements, materials, models, profiles, and versions. And there's one node called Select Model. Just place Select Model in your canvas. Now, this node has a button to select the model. If you click it, Constru will open and lets you select the model. Now I'm going to select my first model here, it's called Floors, and click Select. Now if you check the output, you will see that this is just an element ID that we can use for further operations. Now go to the Model section and say Download by ID. You can connect the ID from the Select Model component to the download component. Now Consul is going to download the model into Dynamo. Now if I check the output, I see this is just the name of the model and it basically contains our model. Now to extract data, you can use the get elements component. I'm going to place it on a canvas and collect my model to it. Now if you have a look at the output, you will see in here there are many elements like levels, grids, floors, columns and beams. You can already see how long those elements are and what section profiles they have and also which materials applied to them. Now we still don't see anything on the canvas so to actually see the model we can just choose another component for elements that is called get geometry. If I place it on the canvas and just connect all the output of get elements to it I will see a rendered model of my construe model in here. Now I'm going to zoom extends and I will see this is my model including all floors, columns, beams and braces. There are also other options to get geometry from construe models. For example get analytical geometry. This gives you basically central lines of beams and columns and braces. If you connect this and in this case just delete the get element, uh, get geometry component, you will see all the analytical lines in here in your canvas. You can use them to create beams or do other things, for example. Now if you want to query attributes, there's also get attributes component. You can simply connect any element to it and then check the output. Now those are directly like attribute objects. So if you go to the attribute category, you will find more nodes for get name and get value. If I connect those to the attributes, I will see the names of those attributes. To get their values, you can also connect get value to it. Now you can see the values of those attributes in here. So this is how you query attributes and geometry. And you can also uh, query, for example, profile sections. You go back to element there's a component for get profile. If you connect to it and check the output, you will see that many elements don't have profiles, levels for example, or grid lines. But beams and columns have profiles and here you see the name of those profiles. So this is basically how to query a model in Dynamo.